Okay, here's a rectangle that I have um, almost finished. I'm on my 25th row, so that gives me 12 ridges. Um, that's what gives you the kind of texture for your pumpkin. Um, you have to do an odd number of rows, and I'll show you why in just a second, but here's my last stitch. So with this yarn, you can see your um, back loops easier. So here's my back loop. I'm gonna finish off this row by making a single crochet in the back loop only, okay? And then um, my instructions tell you to fold, you'll, you'll take your hook out of your piece and you are to fold your um, piece so that the chain that you started with, that long chain that you left is in the front. Your loop that you just took your hook out of is in the back. Okay, so I'm just folding it in half. You want to line up each of the stitches. You see how they're lined up corner to corner because you need these to match. You're gonna insert your hook in the very first place that you can on the end here, and then pick up your loop, okay? Tighten up your yarn, don't grab the don't grab that chain piece, I mean that, that tail that you left, don't grab that. But um, now you're just gonna kind of slip your loop through like a slip stitch. Then you're going to insert your hook again and you need to pick up the stitch on the back piece. And all we're doing is we're basically crocheting these two pieces together. So I yarned over, I'm just pulling through a loop, okay? And now I have two of them on my hook, so I'm going to just pull it together. It's like a slip stitch. Okay, and then I'm gonna insert my hook on my third stitch, pick up the third stitch in the back piece, pull up a loop, and then pull it through. Do the same thing with the fourth one. I'm gonna insert my hook in the fourth piece, and I'm just picking up one piece of yarn on the front piece, but I'm going under two pieces of yarn on the back piece, and it's just what naturally seems to occur. So there's no rhyme or reason to that. It just makes a nice seam. So insert under the first front piece, and then insert your hook under the two pieces in the back. Uh, pull a loop through and then slip stitch it. Okay, insert under the front piece and the back piece. Pull some yarn through, slip stitch that through. Insert your, your hook through, yarn over and draw up a loop, slip stitch it. Insert through both pieces, yarn over, pull it through, and then slip it through the first loop on the hook. And so this is how we kind of sew or crochet together two pieces to make a closed circle. All right, so that's why you um, have to leave that long chain at the very beginning because you're going to need it when we go to sew our ends closed on the top and the bottom of the pumpkin. So here, I'm at the end now. You should have only done this like 15 times, um, but just make sure you get all the way to the end. And like I said, there's really no rhyme or reason sometimes where you're putting your hook. Okay, now I'm at the end of it. So it now looks like a tube, okay? This was the chain that I wanted, or that I had at the beginning, the, the tail I had at the beginning when I started my chain, and it's on the top, you can imagine maybe the top or the bottom of my pumpkin. This one, I'm fixing to cut my yarn, and I'm gonna leave it long also, and it's gonna be at the other end of my pumpkin, so maybe my bottom, okay? So now I'm going to cut my yarn, leaving a, a good eight to 12 inch um, tail on there, and I'm just gonna pull it through so now I have a completed tube, okay, like that, one on each end. So now we're going to take our yarn and we're going to thread our needle and, oh goodness, thread your needle. And now we're gonna close this up. And what we do is we're going to, um, right next to where the tail comes out, we're just gonna start weaving our needle in and out, um, anywhere you can, as close as you can, um, all the way around, okay? You might want to, you know, leave a little bit of yarn so you can tell where you started at, but you're just gonna keep coming in and then from the other direction, just anywhere you can. You're doing a zigzag basically all the way around. 
See, I'm just picking up yarn anywhere I can because we're gonna cinch this closed. So it's kind of like if you have a, a, a duffel bag, you know, one of those backpack duffel bag things, I mean backpacks um, with drawstrings on it and you cinch them closed, that's what we're making right here. So we're just going in and out all the way around back to where we started. Just stay as close as you can to the top edge of your piece, okay? And and remember, girls, when you're holding your yarn, you need to be holding it, pinching it with your, your fingers right at where the eye of the needle is so that your yarn doesn't slip out um, from the needle, okay? And so here you can tell that I'm back to where I started. So I don't want to go past where I started, but watch what happens when I pull it now. You see how it just cinches it all up? And it leaves you with a very little hole there on the bottom. So that's how we will be making our pumpkin, okay? So there's our new little pumpkin hole. I cannot do the camera, there we go. So we will be stuffing it here and doing the same thing with this tail that's at the top. We're going to be, and once we get it stuffed with our polyfill, we're going to be cinching it closed the same way. But back to the bottom here, you want to cinch it as tight as you can, and then do a couple of more um, stitches, and they're picking up some of the loose stitches. Oops, that's my tail, it got caught in there. Okay. You just want to close up that hole as best as you can. So I can still see my hole there. And I want to just keep picking up little pieces of it and cinching it closed. So you can stretch it out, make sure that it's closed good. I'm going to make it more even here. Try to get these pieces in there. Oh, goodness. Well, you see the idea. Um, I need to kind of um, get this right here uh, with my yarn. I'm going to put it back on my needle when I turn this off the camera. And I'm going to um, thread it under here to pull these cinch sheets down a little bit tighter. And then what I'll do is I'll just go in reverse and I'm going to run my yarn underneath these stitches and then pull the string in the middle and cut it. So that's your. Um, that's how we close the ends of these pumpkins off.